Hi there, this is Marty from OwingsArt.com and in today's episode, we'll take a look at the Jackson watercolors made in Germany. I'll swatch these out for you, I'll show you a full comparison to other watercolors, and at the end I'll give you a full ratings breakdown. In addition to that, a special announcement about Schmincke's upcoming special edition set, exclusively available for my friends at Wet Paint. And we'll take a look at a good friend of mine, Joshua Cunningham, who's today's featured artist. But first, let's take a look at these Jackson watercolors. There's 12 in this particular set, but they also sell them in the 24 and 48 color sets. This is a nice set because it comes in a tin case, which is very, very nice. It's good to have uh, the durability of the, of the metal case, I think. Uh, it's still very extremely Portable. This particular set happened to be sent to me by my friend Anya in Germany. Thanks very much, Anya. This is an awesome little set, and I just loved getting this in the mail. So you see here, this is pretty much uh, the same case that you're going to get from a Schmincke set. Um, the interior, I, what do you call that? The the pan holder, I guess. This little thing pops right out of the tray. If you can uh, maneuver it a little bit I had a little trouble getting it out but here it is and all the 12 pans are locked in there they're half pans and there's just these little tabs you need to push back on those and then these will pop right out here you just push back on the little tabs there just like that and the pans just pop right out now you do have to unwrap the pans because they be uh, they come individually wrapped but that's no big deal it's kind of actually kind of fun to do that gets a little tedious if you have a 48 pan set but with a 12 pan set not too much trouble so you open these up and then there's kind of a trick to getting them back in you end up having to um, you know bend those tabs back in so I'll show you that a little bit you know they're kind of sticking out now and I'm kind of pushing them in yeah you have to kind of bend it almost so it's uh, a little bit more of an angle than you think it should be and then you take a pan and you stick it in there tab end first and it just kind of snaps right in and it holds it nice and tight now depending on how you know far down you squeeze the tab that's going to determine how tight the pan is held in there once you get all the pans in this little um, I guess pan holder for lack of a better word you just pop it right back into the tin all right uh, let's swatch these colors out now you're not going to see white very well obviously but you know I like to swatch all the colors I couldn't just leave one sitting there so um, there you go there's white <laughs> yeah it's like uh, you know a bed sheet in a uh, snowstorm so uh, between each um, color I'm gonna rinse the brush a little bit even though this is a portable water brush and pretty easy to rinse I just want to make sure I have a clean tip before I go ahead and swatch the colors so here I'll let you take a look at that and, and obviously I'll speed this up so you don't have to sit and watch me wash the brush but here we go so here's the colors I'm swatching out today titanium white uh, permanent yellow orange permanent red Permanent Violet, Ultramarine, Prussian Blue, Viridian, Yellow Green, Yellow Ochre, Light Red, and Ivory Black. Those are the colors in this set. Time to share a few thoughts on this um, paint. I really 
uh, think it's pretty vibrant actually. And you know, when you get German paints or German made art materials period, they're usually pretty good. And I like the way these mixed and actually comparing these to Schmenka, like this is the Schmenka um, Ultramarine and here is uh, right below it is the Jackson Ultramarine. You can see maybe a little bit more vibrant in the Schmenka and here's Schmenka Red. And then there's the uh, Jackson. Pretty similar. Now, a real difference is kind of in the purple here. This is the uh, Schmenka purple on top. And then there is the very uh, strong, uh, it might be a violet actually. Um, but anyway, in either case, it's really strong. And I, I liked uh, just swatching these out. Well, let's compare these to some other watercolors. Uh, well, I think both student and actually artist grade would be fun so all right so here's all of the Jackson watercolors that I just watched out laid right in front of you here so the first one we'll take a look at is the Daler and Rowney Aquafine I'm kind of impressed by the Aquafine paints but here's a comparison and you can see uh, for yourself that th the Jackson are are more vibrant than uh, the Daler and Rowney Aquafine paints for sure Here's Windsor and Newton's. Uh, this is their artist watercolor. And here you're going to see, I think the this is Sennelier. Now Sennelier is a uh, honey-based watercolor. And uh, so there's a few different properties with Sennelier that I really like about them. They sort of glow. Whereas the Jackson, they're more, um, I'd say... I don't know, like, I don't know, industrial or something like that. They're just, you know, there's the Schmenka, which I swatched out back in 2014, and they still they still look great, man. And, you know, I don't hide these from the sun or anything. So, uh, yeah, I mean, they're definitely comparable uh, in that regard. I wouldn't put them in the same class as Schmenka, but you can tell sort of the German-made, you know, consistency is there. There's Holbein. I find Holbein to be much more opaque, but then again, you know, if you water, add a little bit more water, um, Holbein's really good. These are Grumbacher, um, probably uh, my least favorite of the paints that I've shown so far. Here's Koi. These are Secure Koi watercolors. So you can take a quick look at that comparison. It's funny how the paints are almost laid out exactly the same in the pans. Uh, from one manufacturer to the next. Now this is uh, American Journey watercolor, which I really liked. Uh, I remember reviewing these, and these are pretty awesome watercolor. And the price point is right on these too, so you're not going to break the bank with American Journey. But again, you know, pretty comparable. Again, though, I give Jackson uh, still the slight edge here, just because of the vibrancy of the paint. You know, it's just those colors are really popping. There's the Mission Gold watercolors right there a lot of people love those paints there's the Turner watercolors too uh, yep that was a quick look Daniel Smith really good watercolors lots of single pigment and very light fast watercolors in the Daniel Smith line Let's see what else we got here. Yeah, Royal Talons transparent watercolors, which obviously there's no comparison here. That I consider those more of a student grade, although they do have a a pretty cool variety of colors. I just really don't use them very much for anything other than I don't know, really just basic sketching. If even Let's see, did I have one more or not? I can't remember now. <laughs> I don't think I did. Well, let's go to ratings. Okay, so here you go. Um, one, to, one to ten scale here. One being poor, ten is the very best. I thought the color was good. I mean, really solid. Uh, so I gave it a 6.5. The vibrancy, definitely excellent. I mean, and I graded these on like what I'd call an artist grade uh, grading. So... Really good dis dissolving and dispersion. You didn't see any 
remnant lines there. Excellent transparency uh, throughout the color range. Um, great quality. Uh, you know, Germans are very solid at making good paints or, you know, making sure the quality is there. Uh, light fastness, that'll have to be determined, but overall value, 8 on these. And here we'll take a look at the uh, distributor's website. The company that produces these is called Hansel or Hansel. And uh, yeah, I, th I think that's how you pronounce it. But they have all of their catalogs for their art supplies here. We're going to go to number eight, which is the catalog that contains uh, these paints. And they also sell white knights, which are uh, paints made in Russia. And at the end here, you know, in the description, I'll put links to all of the stuff you see here. So, so no worry there. You won't have to try to keep track or write it down. But here you go. Here's the Jackson watercolor line here. All of the colors in their set and the various sets that they sell. Here's the different types of sets you can get. Now, you can order these from a bunch of different places uh, in Germany. But I'm going to give you a link at the end to where you can get them um, on Amazon and save yourself uh, some money. And uh, up here they're really just saying uh, get inspired by using our paints. You can download these catalogs. Uh, let us know if you need any help. Here's some places that carry uh, the Jackson line of watercolor paints and yeah they're pretty darn good paints and I really enjoyed using them. I think I can recommend these paints with uh, a lot of confidence. Okay, time to take a look at uh, the art of my good friend Joshua Cunningham. He is a guy who is a painter here in Minnesota. He's an oil painter and I started following uh, his career very early on. I think he might have had just a, a few paintings up online and um, now he's a full-blown uh, well-known, listed, and uh, uh, you know, artists that galleries really want to have his work around in, and you, you can see for yourself um, the kind of work that Josh does. Now, he's mostly a landscape painter. As a matter of fact, I don't recall seeing him ever paint a portrait, but uh, I could be wrong about that. I know he's done some still life, um, and I'm sure he's done some portraiture, but his landscapes are what he's really uh, quite well known for, especially in the Midwest, um, United States. This is, these are kind of scenes from <laughs> just around uh, my city and the countryside and the places uh, where uh, we call home. Uh, so anyway, you can see that Josh is really just an outstanding oil painter. <laughs> it just amazes me to look at this stuff because some of these paintings, um, it just takes an incredible amount of patience and talent and uh, Joshua's pretty much a plein air painter so he goes out in the field takes his easel with him and does his work there um, so you can see right there the different places that he's he's gone out and just painted and uh, lots of these scenes again are from the Midwest which is uh, the area I live in in around Minnesota but Josh has won all kinds of awards. He's been, you know, uh, gotten ribbons for his work and uh, shown in a lot of different places and a lot of different galleries. Here, here's uh, Josh out painting on site, uh, which he does a lot. And for some reason, he doesn't care what time of year it is. So it could be freezing cold. And as long as, <laughs> as, long as his paints don't freeze, he's out there doing uh, his business. And he's, uh, he's consistent, you know. Uh, Josh is uh, not just a great painter, but he gets out and works and, um, and really uh, tries to refine his skills and just get better as a craftsman and, um, in terms of his oil painting work. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? And this is, you know, sort of his background, I mean, you know, different places he's shown over the years and uh, his art has, uh, has been exhibited. Um, you can buy Josh's paintings. They're, they're for sale. Uh, sometimes the price will be right on here, but you can always email him and just ask him if you see a piece that interests you uh, and that you can afford. You know, his prices are sort of going up because he's actually a really, a really in-demand painter. I mean, look at that uh, silo right there. That's just 
Awesome. I love that painting. Well, that was Josh Cunningham, and I encourage you to go take a look for yourself at his work. It's pretty spectacular. All right, now for the special announcement. My friends over at Wet Paint have decided that because the response to the custom Schmincke set in the spring was so overwhelming and so positive, I mean, they sold out like in a couple of weeks. There was 500 sets. Boom, they were gone. They decided to get a hold of Schmincke and re- do sort of the the whole special it's different colors in this set but in october they're going to have some brand new limited edition schminka sets and they're going to be very affordable just like they were in the spring so it'll be your chance to pick up a great set and it's got like a bunch of new colors from schminka's new uh colors so uh, that's great about it so you go here to the wet paint website i'll provide a link you register here and then they will alert you when the sets come in so that you can uh you know pop over and buy them right away hopefully the website won't break but you can pick one two three whatever you want get a couple for gifts it, these would make outstanding gifts and i know that the price is going to be uh, just like it was in the spring so super affordable for really an outstanding uh, product so, yep, just fill out this form right here. Please tell them when you order that Marty sent you there uh, because that really helps build the relationship with, with them. They don't give me anything for that, but I just like the goodwill uh, that I have with wet paint. So uh, go ahead and uh, get on this list. Here's all the colors that are going to be in the new set. It's going to be spectacular, and you'll be the first to know when they come in, and boom, you order them up. If you get a chance, go over to my website, um, that's owingsart.com, scroll down a little bit, and on the right-hand side, just where you see those little squares of people there, right there, scroll down a little bit and hit the blue follow button. If you're not following the website now, please do so. Uh, this is where you'll follow my artistic journey, and uh, uh, you can take a look at my various sketches, paintings, drawings, etc., and uh, learn about some new artists, some different techniques maybe uh, but anyways about once a month I post and you'll get a note in your email saying hey Marty put something on owingsart.com so I hope you'll join a couple hundred other folks who follow me on the website and uh, really appreciate uh, you checking it out that's some of the work of my good friend Stuart Lockridge who I posted about not long ago uh, last month he's a great painter so go over there to the website even if you don't follow it take a look at some of the stuff on the website and please don't forget to subscribe comment and share this video if you share the video it's awesome it means you really liked it again I try to buy all the art supplies and materials I review on the channel <clears throat> unless I say otherwise I didn't buy these Jackson paints my friend Anya sent them to me from Germany which was pretty cool that's it for today thanks for dropping by and taking a look at the Jackson uh, watercolors and my friend Josh's painting and Hopefully you'll score a deal at wet paint. All right, so long for now. This has been Marty for owingsart.com. <laughs>